Your morning news now. Former Vice President Joe Biden won more than half of the 14 states up for grabs on Super Tuesday. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders won his home state as well as Utah and Colorado. Maine and California have yet to be called. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren came in third in her home state. And former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg's lone victory was in the territory of American Samoa. Washington state is reporting more deaths from coronavirus, bringing total deaths in the U.S. to nine. Researchers believe the virus circulated undetected in the Seattle area for weeks. Federal health officials say they are now beginning to ramp up production of testing kits. Rescuers are still searching for victims in Tennessee neighborhoods that were devastated by severe storms. The number of people killed in tornadoes that swept across parts of Tennessee is now at 24. Tennessee's governor is declaring an emergency the National Guard so the National Guard can help with search and rescue efforts. Well, all is quiet around here this morning with uh, sunshine. Temperatures mainly in the 20s, still around 30 down towards Prairie du Chien and Boscobel. Winds out of the northwest at about 5 to 10, causing some slight wind chills this morning. 16 in Eau Claire, feels like 19 in Black River Falls, 18 in Viroqua, and 21 here in the Cross. The U.S. Supreme Court is set to hear a major abortion case today. The case is examining a Louisiana law which requires any doctor performing an abortion to get admitting privileges from a nearby hospital. Those who support the law say it would keep unqualified doctors from performing abortions, while pro-choice advocates are saying the law is simply a way to get around Roe v. Wade. If the regulation goes into effect, it could set a precedent for other states to create similar measures. Governor Tony Evers signed four bills at the Cooley Recovery Center in La Crosse. The bills are aimed at providing more access for those struggling with substance use disorder and improved recovery services. The governor says these bills are a big step forward. If you drive on Mormon Cooley Road to get to work, you're going to have to take it slower this morning. City officials changed the speed limit on one section of the busy road from 40 to 35. City council members say the primary reason is for the safety of drivers and pedestrians. UWL graduate students have the opportunity to present their entire projects today, but they won't have much time to do it. The three-minute grad project competition will be held today in UWL Centennial Hall. As the title suggests, graduate students will only have three minutes to present their entire project with only one PowerPoint slide for help. Representatives from the community will be on hand to judge each presentation, and the top three winners will get a scholarship. Skies are currently clear across the region as uh, we are expecting lots of sunshine for today. Now, uh, a look at the satellite imagery shows that a batch of light rain and snow showers just barely clipping southern portions of Winnesheek, Allamakee, and Crawford counties overnight. That has now moved well to our south and to our east. So plenty of sun today. Temperatures a bit above average with a high of 44 and then a chance of light rain and snow showers tonight, early tomorrow, and again tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise, windy tomorrow, 45. But look at the warm-up for the weekend, 56 on Saturday, 60 on Sunday. We want to thank you for sharing your morning with us and hope that you have a great day. We'll look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow morning.